Hello, again. I'm Amy Jane Adams, fine artist and historian, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit more about my drawings for the Country House Colouring Book um, that's being published in April 2016, this year, and it's for the National Trust, and it's very unique. Each page uh, tells the story of National Trust properties, really, really wonderful, um, exciting historical stories that I've discovered and uh, and design uh, that you can learn about um, and also colour and make your own. Jazz it up a bit. So here we have Chasselton House, um, definitely I would say England's finest example of a Jacobean manor house and it's not too far from me, uh, the studio where I work, uh, which is very fitting that I should show this one to you. Um, so it made sense really. In the book we have there's objects, furniture, exteriors, interiors, so the pages vary, so it keeps it really, you know, alive and, and kind of interesting as you go through it, and um, and just a bit different, really. So here, just as I say, made sense with the, the fact that it probably is the greatest Jacobean house to depict the exterior. Um, and then decorating the page, you've got wonderful details of plaster work, like these Tudor roses and pomegranates that are intertwined on the ceiling. Um, so that's that. And then up above, you've got this incredible, almost Islamic pattern, like an eye cat. Uh, like a, it's a woven fabric that covers the walls of a tiny, tiny room just off a bedchamber. Um, so I just love the pattern, and I thought alongside the rest of the drawing, which is quite curved, and suddenly the pattern's quite geometric, um, then that's a bit of fun, a uh, bit of a contrast, and it's stripy too. So it's just about variation. So going, not only are the stories of each property important, um, as you've seen with my explanation of Shaw's Corner, but with this one, it's more to do with decoration and design, and how all the little elements um, work quite well on a page together. So, and also lots of sheep, um, here are the sheep, we've got a few sheep looking a bit naughty and cheeky, um, one with its bottom, but hey, that's normal, you, you see that. And um, so the sheep are there because um, the wool trade uh, was very prosperous, created enormous wealth um, from Renaissance period, um, and and yeah, I mean the f 14th, 15th century through to a bit of the 16th, I mean it was just phenomenal. And without that wealth, we wouldn't have properties like uh, the Jacobean Chasselton um, in the Cotswolds. So that's why there are sheep. So there's a little bit of a story there, but not too complicated. Um, and then as we come over here, I'll bring you a little bit closer, we have the dovecot which is so beautiful and as you arrive um, it's the first thing you see that kind of emerges once you walk through trees um, and so yes yeah, so that's why the dovecot's there and so that's it really that's Chasselton and um, I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing how you colour it in stay tuned for more Bye.